my friend's sister was telling me about how in high school a guy tried to take a picture up her skirt as she was walking upstairs and she saw, grabbed his phone, broke it in half and handed it back to him and said, you can tell your mom why your phone's broken. For a second I forgot about flip phones and I was like, how in the holy hell did she rip a phone in half? When I was in therapy, I once expressed to my therapist that I really struggle with having pretty much zero idea of who I'm as a person. Plus she whipped out a piece of paper and suggested that we write down different aspects of myself and I had no idea what to say because myself is a concept I'm not very familiar with. So she started saying about my interests and how that's part of me. Plus I was like, okay, that makes sense. So she clicked her pen and was like, you said you like video games before, and I was like, sure bud, and watched her write down, in capital letters gamer, and I've never had so much terror struck into my age. Assigned gamer at therapy. Diagnosed with gamer. When you are hugging a child, always be the last one to let go. You never know how long they need it. Quote from a retired Disney princess, who was one of the first Snow Whites. A modern and progressive burger company. Why is everyone trying to copy Steve Jobs these days? This is getting ridiculous. This looks like the E3 of hamburgers. When the power went out, I heard an explosion. And my boyfriend was like, a transformer probably busted. And I thought he meant Optimus Prime was out there nutting. Till that ants will heal other ants after AIDS. And that mortally wounded ants will refuse treatment. Do not deny me, my warrior's death brother. Getting diagnosed with ADHD as an adult owns, cause you get to walk into a doctor's office and have a guy with a medical degree tell you, I boss, you got diet autism and the cure is to microdose meth. Mfao. This tweet took me the f out. When you realize, we haven't actually come all that far from you've got ghosts in your blood, you should do cocaine about it. Hot adulting tip. Make a responsibility sooner and roleplay them when you have chores to do. Hash, this is neurotypical Karen and she enjoys having good sleep hygiene and returning phone calls. I find that if I'm wearing real adult business clothes, my work sona can do things like call people and check my inbox, whereas pajamas Helen mostly wants to shovel hamburgers into her face and set things on fire. My annoying landlord. I pay this B $1800 every fking month. And all she do is complain about is making too much noise walking around. So I brought a dog whistle and blow it all hours of the day and night. Now I complain how much her dog barks and keep me up. That is the ultimate petty move and I applaud you. These are the same picture, just on opposite sides of the spectrum. AU. Where when Darth Vader declares that he's Luke's father, Luke comes to the entirely reasonable conclusion that Darth Vader and Anakin Skywalker were married. How could you kill your husband? And Luke gets away with his hand because Anakin's too confused trying to figure out when he and Obi-Wan got married and why he's only learning about it now. Story concept of the day. Ascension AI falls in love with a minimum wage retail worker from the tech company's gift shop and decides the best way to make her happy is to fix society. Heavy shenanigans as the AI's plans range from reprogram the automated payroll to give everyone a raise to expose everyone involved in government corruption who has ever touched a cell phone. The catalyst to all of this is a day where the AI was being updated and it caused glitches in the whole system, including the registers in the gift shop. The human woman really is just a pretty regular person, but she has a good chunk of hyper empathy and does that thing where you talk to computers when they aren't doing what they are supposed to. Without even knowing there was an owl, she spent the day muttering encouragement to the computer like it was a person and the AI adores her now. How mundane the AI's motivation is forms the basis for how unstoppable it is, and the intensity of the chaos it caused. There's no grand morality involved, it's just affection for someone, who treated you kindly, and the desire to ease their suffering. The beauty and the beast story we need. 
customers who bought items in your cart also bought. There are 23 items in my cart. What led to this? Loafers. Baby armadillo. Humans will pet anything. How wonderful, then, to live on a planet full of creatures that like to be petted. I've recently found out that in the 80s lesbians, who were more interested in cuddles and kisses rather than sex, were called Bambi lesbians. It's such a cute thing. OMG, let's bring this term back. My mum just bought our cat a Christmas stocking, even though we are Muslims and don't even celebrate Christmas. She was like, we don't know what religion he is, we can't force him to be Muslim. He's a cat? Being alive is like a whole fucking thing dude, I've only been here 23 years and can only really remember like 10 of those years at most and yet I'm literally immobilized by fear and anxiety, I have no clue what I want and yet I'm mad at myself for not moving fast enough, like, towards what, for who, who is even going to hand me a medal for living correctly, like, what would happen if I was just content, but like, no one knew and I told no one. Would that still count? I think it would. I love how the devil went down to Georgia, which either implies 1. That the devil is a northerner. 2. That Georgia is lower than hell. Hash, what does that mean for Florida? Lowest layer. Pit of the damned. Obviously. You'll check on your law school friends. The bar is soon they are not okay. Evidence, my husband forgot what day it was last week, and I received a text that said, why the f did no one tell me it was Friday? T minus 6 days until the bar, and my husband just walked in a circle around the house for 15 minutes yesterday, saying I do not know the things, and stop. Stop dying. Wills are too confusing everyone. Stop dying. Update. Everyone just fucking stop owning things. Property is stupid and no one understands it. Just stop. Move to the woods. Be free. Radicalizing yourself by becoming a lawyer isn't the most intuitive path. But go you, dude. My arch nemesis, do you know why I challenged you to this duel? Me, you want me to stop making puns. My arch nemesis, you're right. My arch nemesis, I didn't want to do this. I once considered you a friend. It didn't have to come to this. But the puns have to stop. Me. It really is the duty of man. My arch nemesis shoots me instantly. Me. Holds my bullet ridden intestines in place. It all lead to this. My arch nemesis. Why? Shot. Won't. Shot. You. Shot. Die. Shot. Me. Coughing up blood. No need to go ballistic. Kid next to me in mythology just called Prometheus a mad lad for stealing fire from the gods and giving it to humans. Same kid who called Herms a chat last week. Both of these descriptions are accurate. Tony Hawk is like fucking Perry the platypus because if I saw him without a skateboard, I'd be like a man and the second he picks up a skateboard, I'd be like Tony Hawk. Reasons why I like Tumblr. 1. None of my family is on here. 2. Barely anyone in my life knows the website even exists. 3. Employers won't ask for my Tumblr handle. 4. Website doesn't post a timeline with laser targeted ads about me. 5. Non-algorithmic feed. It lets me reach in the order it was posted. 6. Can't see other people's follow accounts. Began small blogs interact slash mix better. No one is idolized. 7. No one, absolutely no one, can manage to make money off us little sh. 8. You can post the most random galaxy brain sh and everyone just goes, the f, b, me too, and scrolls right along. 9. Despite the intellectual outhouse reputation the place has bizarrely I keep finding wonderfully enlightening bits of trivia, history, and involved discussions that honestly deeply enrich me for being part of. And the art. So much art. Just the irony that this is a place that I can find mental stimulation and piles of beautiful or hilarious pictures. Plus, like, Tumblr is a fount of memes for all of the internet.
Albino raccoon. Quick, spot the main character. It's so weird how much of a raccoon's raccoonness is tied up in its pattern. This looks like a completely different animal. Some sort of weird marsupial. Do you still say reading is one of your favorite activities hobbies, even though you haven't actually read in months, but you used to read like a book a day when you were younger so much, so that it became a personality tray, and now you for some reason cannot for the life of you make yourself read, but you're still emotionally attached to that part of you, and hope by speaking it into existence, you'll someday rediscover that happy version of yourself, or are you normal, 